yeah. Oh, yeah. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Here we go. First unboxing of the day. EVGA GTX 1660 Ti SC Gaming Ultra. Should we take it out of this box, too? Showing. As you can see, I'm very careful with all of my hardware. Whee! Oh, there's more plastic wrap. Holy crap, did they like saran wrap this? Ugh, oh, oh, that's not, that's not very graceful, is it? It's so difficult to peel off that you end up just putting tons of fingerprints in the card anyway. There it is. I like how the fans almost take up the entire surface area of the side of the shroud. It's pretty badass. Single eight pin, and we get a back plate. I got big plans for this little card, so stay tuned. It's gonna be good. But we're not done yet. We've got another box to unbox. <laughs> Oh yeah, box in another box. But here we can see Fantex Eclipse P400. This, however, is the P400. A. Fantex just likes using the same box for different models, but you can see right here, 400A, TG, tempered glass. How many more times do we have to do this? <sighs> Well, hello, beautiful. This is the brand new case that we saw being shown off at Computex this year. Pretty much the same interior as the P400. Nice painted black interior, very open layout, power supply shroud, tempered glass side panel. However, we now have this super fine mesh all at the front. And this is actually a perfect angle. You can see all the light bleeding through it. It's so fine, it takes care of all the dust filtration as well, which is pretty cool. And just like our new video card over there, I also have big plans for this guy. And you're gonna like it. But that's all I can say for now. <laughs> Wifey Sauce brought this home the other day. What do you guys think? Think. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks kind of like a pineapple, right? I've also never seen her come home with so much pot. <laughs> All right, who wants a house update? Too bad, you're gonna get it anyway. Look at this, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. I mean, they've just been hard at work every day. Look at that, your roof. Roof, roof. It's coming along swimmingly. It's just, everything's great. They should actually be ready for electrical in like a week or two, which is pretty exciting. The very end, after they do all the insulation and drywall and paint, we'll actually be able to install some light fixtures. You better believe they're gonna be RGB. I don't know, I don't know if, we, if they are. That'd be kind of stupid, but also kind of awesome. So we'll have to wait and see. But then also like dimmers and switches. Maybe we'll get some smart switches in here. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. Uh, we are looking at roofers, currently getting estimates. So that's gonna be happening soon. We really wanted a metal roof, but those are expensive as she. So we're just gonna go with some 50 year composite shingles. I kinda wanna, I kinda wanna go up there and see what, see what the hell's up there. Ow, oh, oh this roof is hot as ow. Oh jeez, okay. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that plywood. That looks, that looks firm. So again, if you guys remember how this roof was originally built, it was still a pitch roof like it is here, but then it ended right about here. And then there was a stupid shed roof that just went poof, slammed right into the side of that roof, and then water would get stuck there anytime it would rain. There was a bunch of leaks and stuff. It was terrible. So now it's just one continuous peak Whoop. all the way to the rest of the house. It's much better. Yep, yep, looking for it again. The outside of the house on ground level is looking good, too. Uh, if you guys remember, these are going to be sliding glass doors, one large one right here and an even bigger one over there. Those are probably going to be some of the last things to get added to this whole project because they're not even going to be ready until mid-October, which is kind of a drag, but there's still lots of things to be done in the meantime. So that's the update on the house, y'all. Pretty exciting stuff, eh? It's very fun, also takes a lot of time, and is very expensive. So if you happen to see me on the street corner, I ain't buying groceries. Why are we, why are we in the sun? Why do we leave the house? Why are we making contact with the outside place? There are things to do there. What are, we, what are we doing? What's so important that we have to leave the comfort of our own beautiful home where we have multiple gaming machines and perfectly stable Wi-Fi? You need vitamin D. That farmer's tan. You need lots of sun. Yeah, you know what? If that's a sneaky way of you saying that we're getting some Sunny D, I'm all for that. Because Sunny D is delicious. We're not getting Sunny D. Why not? Sunny D is great. It's just full of sugar. That's exactly. All You're proving my point. What errand is so important? What errand could we possibly be running? Our friend's son is Our friend's turning... son? Are you referencing the Sunny D again? No, is turning one, or I guess he's already one. So our friend's baby son. We're going to his birthday, son. his first birthday party tomorrow. So friend's baby son is turning one tomorrow. We have to get a gift yes. for them, for yes. him? Yes. That's stupid. It's kind of dumb, don't you think? Buying dumb. gifts, buying gifts for a one-year-old. He won't even be able to, he's not even going to appreciate it. Turning right. When you're one, you don't know, you don't even know where you are. One-year-old birthdays. All right, if I'm parking. That's a scam. Is there a structure One-year-old birthdays are a scam that parents use to get gifts uh, for themselves. Because oh, really, right here. any gift that you get a one-year-old is really a gift for the parents. It's all, it's a big sham. And I'm not, I don't want to be a part of it. Have fun looking for a gift on your own. Are you done? Yes, I would love to go shopping with you. 
good answer. See, I'm a domesticated husband. You are. I'm one of them. She got herself one of them domesticated husbands. This is miserable, looking at an outdoor directory in the hot baking sun. Wait, where does it say I didn't, you are here? I didn't consent to this weather. All right, this is, this is climate rape. It doesn't say where we are. Oh darn, well we tried, let's go home. So this is where we're going, buttercup, for today's modern baby. They probably don't even have buttercups you can eat, do they? Honey, honey, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. What does the fox say? He says, why don't you autofocus better camera? Wait, hold on, what, what did you call this? A robot. This is not a robot. This is either a burglar or a, a terrorist. Honey, I'm gonna ask you one more time. What does the fox say? He says, shut up, cat on your loin. Yay, we got stuff for the baby. Little baby dinosaur, oh, so cute. Oh, huh, more dinosaur toys, very cool. I hope. I hope they're not creationists. And hiding hedgehogs. Wait, hold on, what does this, what does this do? It's like a you train. You stack them and you can make them into a train. This is like a human centipede toy. Why would we get in this? We should have just got him an iPad and called it a day. And now we're in the Tange. Wait, didn't this baby get enough stuff? What are we getting now? I'm getting him some sleepers. Sleepers. You mean like a gaming PC that looks really bad on the outside, but it's actually got like an RTX 2080 Ti on the inside? That kind of sleeper? No. Uh, oh. Oh, you're no fun, are you? Oh, these kind of sleepers, got it. Oh yeah, get him the Murica one. I'm even patriotic when I sleep. Oh look, there's a dinosaur one. That would match his toys. It's just too little, honey. Oh. But that's really, really cute. How big is this baby? Get him the funnel sleeper. What about this one? This one has dogs on it. Let's say, woof. It's cute and educational. It has feet. What? It has feet. Oh, it has feet. Oh, they, they don't want feet? Oh my God, this baby doesn't have feet? What kind of baby we're dealing with here? Has their baby ever been <laughs> convicted of a felony? Cause, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Did you did you do that? I'm picking it up in a second. All right, guys. Wifey sauce. Shop? Wifey sauce exposed. She is a messy shopper. That's not true. This is this is this is the stuff they don't show you on. I, I don't know what else you'd see this on. You are an abomination, ma'am. You're a menace to society. Can we can we go now? Okay. Now that we're done shopping for babies, I want something for me. I like gifts too. What do you want? I don't know what I want. I'm an adult. I don't need anything. Okay. Nothing for you. I take it back. Okay. I take it back. There is something that we could get. The Google Home speakers that we have at home, they do a great job. Google Assistant is my preferred choice of uh, smart voice assistants. However, the one area where they're particularly lacking, as is the case with a lot of smart speakers, is sound quality. And I've been kind of looking, kind of been interested in a multi-room system, a multi-room sound system ever since we got the house. So I did some research and I think, I think I want to jump on the Sonos bandwagon. I see everyone ranting and raving about Sonos. I know your dad has Sonos. Other people, Hello. friends and family have Sonos. Hi. And it just got updated a couple months ago with Google Assistant support. So, there you go. Sonos, Sonos. Sounds like the second cousin of Thanos. You must collect all five infinity speakers. Only then will you be able to wipe out half of the population's eardrums. Best, 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 this is the same Best Buy location that we went to last time when we did our uh, trying to build a PC with just parts found at Best Buy. That was a good video, did really well. But if anyone asks me for a free GPU in here, I'm gonna punch them. I think I'm only interested in the one. It's Alexa. Oh my god. Play my morning mix playlist. Holy crap. Your playlist. Stop it. Morning mix. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. We did it. Yay. One, two, three, four. That's probably gonna cover maybe half the house. But half the house is in shambles anyway, so we'll just add more as we see fit down the line. We'll set those up when we get home, but for now, food. Food! So it is the morning after from the last clip that you just saw. Wifey Sauce and I got home after dinner and we had to immediately start cleaning the entire house because we're actually going away for the weekend. But that aside, I have set up the Sono speakers. You can see one of them's right here. I've got four of them again located throughout the house. This one's in our family room. There's another one in my shooting studio. One more in the kitchen back there. And then the fourth one, just on the other side of this wall in the dining room. I've actually already paired up three of them and the pairing process is insanely easy. I would trust my grandparents to do it if only they knew what a smartphone was. So this is the Sonos app. By the way, sorry for the massive crack in the middle of my phone. I literally got it last night after dinner. I have no idea how. When I got home, I pulled it out of my back pocket like I have a thousand times before and lo and behold, massive crack in the middle. You can see I've got family room, kitchen, and studio all set up. I can pretty much group these together, click everywhere if I want music to play on all those speakers or I can select certain ones. You can also have different songs playing on different speakers simultaneously. Now the other nice thing about these Sonos One speakers and uh, one leg up they have over their predecessors, the Play Ones, is that they are smart speakers with built-in voice recognition. And like I said, they do support uh, Google Assistant as well as Amazon Alexa. But the one I'm interested in is Google Assistant. I've actually already synced up that particular service with all the speakers so I can say things like, okay, 
Set a timer for five seconds. Sure, five oh. seconds. Starting. Oh yeah, that's right. I just, I just synced that one. So obviously it's not connected with Google Assistant yet, but the other ones are, like the one in this kitchen. There's my timer going off. Okay. Shut up. Okay. What's the weather like? Today, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 84 and a low of 63. So yeah, the thing works great. Voice recognition works great. Works just like a Google Home. But how do these things sound? And how does the whole multi-room functionality work? Why don't, why don't we try that out now? So from the Sonos app, you can actually see that I can browse Spotify music. The same goes for any other music service account that you have synced or connected to the Sonos app. Kind of like one app to rule them all sort of thing. So let's play a track from my old pal, The Passion Hi-Fi. I do have permission from the artist to use his music, but uh, here we go. All right. Yep, it's, it's working. Also, volume can be controlled straight from your mobile device. You can see that you get individual sliders for each of the rooms, each of the speakers, and an overall volume slider. Very cool. And for the record, one of these speakers easily fills a room this size. This is probably like a 10 by 12 room. It can certainly fill a room even bigger than this. I'd say up to double the size. Anything past that, you might consider getting a second speaker on uh, the opposite corner of the room just to fill the space. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on personal preference and stuff like that, but very nice sounding speaker. Speaker, definitely blows the Google Home out of the water. Uh, but let's go ahead and tour around the rest of the house here. So the music's still going. If we go into the family room, got another speaker right up there on the, on the shelf. Yeah, seamless. Complete, completely seamless listening experience. I love it. And then the fourth one right there in the kitchen. So pretty much, if you, if you really wanted to spend the money and put them everywhere around your house, you could literally have the music follow you everywhere. I mean, it's really cool to be standing in one spot and have music attack you from opposite corners of the room. Neither of my ears feel lonely right now. And then when you're done with all this crap, okay. Shut up. That's it. It shuts, shuts the hell up, just like you told it to, because it's a, it's a good little speaker. Hey honey, you wanna try this out? Okay. Are you ready for your first Sonos experience? I'm ready. First of all, let me know what you think about the sound quality, just from one speaker. A lot better than the Google Home. A lot better, right? A lot better. Like the Google Home was, it, it could get loud enough to fill a room this size, but it just sounded very... Flat. Very flat, but yeah. kind of tinny. Definitely hear all the instruments to these speakers. Yeah, exactly. But it gets better. Follow me. Hey, I still hear the music. Oh, that's the idea. Ha <laughs> ha And we've come Literally full circle. Surround sound. Oh snap! So what do you think? A plus, honey. A plus. It's gonna be great, right? I like it a lot. Bump it. Boop. Wifey approved. That's really the only approval that matters.